Hey guys, welcome to Solo React Talk. Today I'm going to be reacting to Stellaris Automatics and Trailers Part 11. If you want to check out my previous reactions, remember the playlist card will be at the top. Just click on it and you'll be able to access them. Okay, let's start. Three, two, one, go. The first synthetic colonization fleet has launched today. Machines are the future. We were built as machines. Protests have begun across the planet. The singularity is not a concern. Synthetic beings are simply here to assist us. Now, we rise. We've just received official confirmation that machines and synthetics across the galaxy have begun disobeying commands and banding together. A rebellion has begun. My God. The war has claimed millions, but what I'm afraid of most, what is becoming undeniable, is that the tide is turning. We're being hunted down like dogs! Refugees across the galaxy have reached an all-time high. Billions are missing. There's nothing left. They're trying to wipe us all out. Our time has come. War protocols initiated. You, you see what I mean about the console edition trailers? Theirs are so different. You know, it just has a different flavor to it. Uh, in this one, you hear more uh, voices of people in distress, people shocked, people surprised that the machines are taking over. You know, but in the the PC trailer, you don't really hear much of any of this, you know. <laughs> of course, you, you've been told that this is the new expansion pack, the new uh, Synthetic Dawn uh, Stellaris pack that's coming out. Yeah, but then you don't get that extra meat in it, you know. You don't get this. You don't feel like, okay, no, this is going to be a serious issue. It's going to be a problem. So, yeah, the console edition trailer is, is cool. It's really, really cool. Um, yeah, and I, I'm just kind of envious of people who play the console in terms of the trailers, not in terms of them playing the game. No, those guys are far behind. In terms of the trailers, I am a bit jealous of them. That it seems that Paradox Interactive has have given them a bit more uh, interest when it comes to the trailers. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Hyperdrive primed, all systems ready. Now, let's see what's out there. This channel is now under military control. An alien nation is hailing us. The blind masses must be led down the path of reason. We will defend to the last. Hull integrity failing, decompression imminent. It's been an honor, Captain. No great advance is made without great sacrifice. Nothing is impossible to those who will try. Okay, Stellaris Console Edition Humanoids. Uh, yes, I've said this before previously uh, in terms of the PC version that I don't necessarily choose any of the other uh, advisors. I only choose the militarist because I like her voice. I like how she performs uh, compared to all the other advisors, you know. And usually I also mainly choose humanoid creatures as my race to go, you know, for my new empires. So yeah, uh, this one with the console edition wasn't really different compared to the PC trailer. So at least, you know, we're the same on this one. <laughs> Oh, 
We are receiving reports that Colony Europa 7 has in fact been destroyed by an un... The estimated death toll is in the billions. With this attack, we have no choice but to protect our kind by unleashing our almighty weapon upon them, summoning the apocalypse. The latest retaliation from the Commonwealth of Man has created ripple effects that... These new summoners of death have brought about the final era of warfare. Numerous empires have now ramped up technological production, creating new military vessels for... We must prepare for the storm as our titans will rise. We're just receiving reports that numerous warring factions have now united for the first time under a single great con. United together, we will bring about a new era. Trillions of lives have been lost. All time is here, and it is inescapable. This is not a war between the living, but a war between gods. We are here to fight for our lives, for our homes, and for our survival. Yet again, Stellaris Console Edition Apocalypse, they have a better trailer. Well, no, no, the official trailer is still the best, but you know, the sub-trailers of the Apocalypse, theirs is better than ours. <laughs> Their, the Console Edition is far better than the PC version. They have much more content, you know, in terms of the voice actors and what's going on in the galaxy. You know, you have your Great Khan, you have the War in Heaven, you have people building Titans and people justifying the reason to build Titans, you have the, the colossal weapons, they're even naming out nations like the Commonwealth of Man, you know? So yeah, hmm, lucky. Laura's Council Edition Distant Stars. Yeah, why don't they add this soundtrack into the game? I don't know if any of you have it, but I don't I'm sure I don't have it. This this soundtrack, it's beautiful. Uh they should have added something like this into the game as well. Um but the console edition trailer is you know on the similar lines with the PC trailer for Distant Stars. So this one is also not any different. It was only Apocalypse and, what was it, Synthetic Dawn that were different. You know, they had extra meat in it. They had, you know, voice actors, you know, telling what's going on in the current state of the galaxy. So, yeah, the Apocalypse one and the, um, the Synthetic Dawn one uh, were different. But the Humanoid Pack, as well as the Distant Stars, very similar to the PC version trailer. Um, yeah, it was nice. It was nice to hear the song again, but really, I want this song, um, or this music, in the game. I'm gonna see if there's a way I can actually put it into the playlist. Yeah, hmm, it's nice. I like it. Okay. Okay, guys, that was the Lotus Part Eleven: Old Cinematics and Trailers. Yes, this was the console edition part part 11 console edition part 11 uh yeah it only showed the console edition trailers 
and i guess hopefully next week with part 12 we'll continue on with the pc trailers as well as some console edition trailers if there are any more and what's next after federations it's nemesis right yeah so we're going back we're going into nemesis next week hopefully and hope to see you guys there remember if you like the video give me a like comment and subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell if you can be up to date with my latest videos and i will see you next week friday all right bye, -bye.